Hello everybody, in this Rhino video tutorial, I would like to demonstrate how to do 2D curve tracing of a sketch image. Okay, let's start. Assuming that this is the image that I want to do the 2D curve tracing, let's head over to Rhino. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to bring that reference image into the top view. To do that, we can use uh, this command, okay? Add a picture plane, okay? Or you can type picture at the command prompt, okay? And select the, the image that you want to do the tracing. In this case, this is the image, so click open and place it into the scene, okay? As this image is an object on a flat plane, we can actually move it like any other object okay using the gumball okay okay now the next thing that is being established is the dimension of this thing uh, the this object has a dimension of 50 unit from from here here to here okay so i'm going to create the necessary uh, construction curve to accurately place this image okay so i'm going to draw a line here poly line Make sure the grid snap is turned on. Okay. Okay. The subsequent tools that I will be using will largely fall under the curves tool toolbar section. Okay. So as mentioned, the dimension here is uh, 50. So we can use the offset curve command to offset this line 50 units away to create a, a new line here okay so click on this offset curve so set your distance so 50 5 0 enter so click on the curve to offset and then click down can you see yeah so this is it okay and to aid in our adjustment better I'm going to draw the center line as well so I click on the poly line Okay, make sure that the grid snap is turned on. I'm going to draw a line like that. Okay, and then I can move this over and try to fit it into this uh, place. Okay, as you can see now, it's a slightly bigger than the, the, the intended uh, dimension. So, what I can do is I uh, press and hold the shift key, click on the scaling widget of the gumball. So, is this the square? So, press and hold the uh, you might want to take away the grid snap. Press and hold the shift key, click on the square to do a scaling. Okay, yeah, see, I think I almost got it. Okay, yeah, so maybe a little bit more, a little bit smaller. Okay, so I, I got it. Okay, so now I want to do the curve tracing. Okay, start the curve tracing. Okay, I'll be using. Um, this the control point curve method okay um when you're doing a complex curve tracing you do not have to do it as a single continuous curve that will be very difficult instead we can break them up into smaller segments and do curve editing to refine the curves to the final profile okay so in this case i'm going to do this click on this Make sure that the necessary object snaps are turned on. In our case, uh, we want to use the intersect. So make sure intersect is turned on. Okay, and we want to use the near as well. So intersect and near. So click on this, get intersect. So uh, the second point should be a near. So you don't have to be too concerned about getting it right the first time. Okay, because we can always uh, turn on the control points to do the fine adjustments. Okay, so I'm going to select the point to do our fine adjustment. Okay, we got this. So we're going to do the same for this part here. We're going to click on this. Auto point curve. So intersect. Uh, the second point should be using a near because we are going to draw something that's actually tangentially uh, smooth to the other side. So the first and the second point should 
fall on a horizontal line. So we use the near to snap along this horizontal line. Okay. So uh, you don't have to be too concerned about getting it right the first time because we can always uh, do our fine adjustments. Okay. So I'm going to just draw it short of the this area so that later I can uh, also demonstrate the extend curve command. Okay. So let's uh, turn on the points to do our adjustments. Okay. If you are using the Rhino file, you have to click on this icon to turn on the points. Okay. But you are using six now, so you don't really have to. Okay. So do a file adjustments. Yeah, I think I almost got it. Okay. So just have to adjust this a bit here. Okay. As mentioned. This curve is falling short of, of here. So actually, I want you to extend all the way here. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can extend this <laughs> smoothly. To do that, you use this, okay, extend curve command. Or you, okay, so we ask you select curve to extend. So there are methods like what well, your extension type. Is it line, natural? So I think I'll just use natural for, okay. So click on this end, okay, enter. So click on the curve, you want to extend at the end, then just drag it up. So I want to extend up to here. Okay, yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. So I think I need to do a bit of fine adjustment again. So click on this. Sorry, escape. Click on this thing. Turn the points on. And do your fine adjustments. Okay, I think I almost got it. Okay, how about this area here? So actually, I want to create like a nice blended transition over here. So to do that, we can use this command, adjustable curve blend. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. Okay, so um, you got to pay attention over here. Okay, maybe to make it easier for you to see the other work let me just uh, hide the unnecessary curves okay so this is not not useful anymore so you can click the hide command to to hide the unnecessary stuff so i don't need this i don't need this okay so click the hide eye icon if you want to get them back you can always uh, come over and do a right mouse click over this icon to show the hidden stuff okay Okay, so the height and the show is a very uh, useful way to quickly like uh, hide away things that, that are unnecessary at the moment. Okay, so I want to hide these two. Well, so, okay, the height, okay, one more, so click height, okay, yep. Okay, now... Let's come back here. So as mentioned, we're going to use the adjustable curve blend. So click on the corners of the curves. Okay, click on this and this. So you get something like that. Okay, as we are creating something that is uh, smoothly blended, we should use curvature option for one and two. Okay, if you are using the, you want something straight, is actually position okay but we, we want something smooth tangent we got something like uh less not as smooth as the curvature it's more like uh like a like an arc or okay but uh or something with like a fillet you use the, the tangent but we want something that's uh, quite smooth so let's uh, use the curvature okay so for one and two okay next you need to drag on the points to adjust this curve until it fits to this uh, profile here so you want to start by clicking on the end end points okay so click and drag like that okay click and drag like that okay and then do some fine adjustments using the other points okay so i'm gonna click here this i'm going to bring this down a bit more If you find that the adjustment is uh, very uh, segmented, that's because uh, the grid snap must be must, has been turned on. So you might want to turn this off for for fine adjustments. Okay.
okay i think i almost done already okay okay so once you get like almost the to the desired profile that you want okay you can start to like create this stuff okay you want to make sure that you are removing the the accessors so to do that make sure that you click the trim okay so they trim all the access uh, curves around here okay so click the trim and if you want the three curves to be joined as a single one you might want to click the join okay but i want to just uh, leave that as separate curves for the time being okay then i click okay you can see the access uh, region of the curves will be removed okay Okay, I want to do a manual joining so you can click on the join command here to manually join the curves yourself. Okay. Okay, enter. Okay, so I, I, I got this and yep. And then you can proceed to create the other side using the mirror command. Okay, so let me demonstrate mirror. So mirror is found under the transform toolbar this command or you can just type mirror at the command prompt okay so i click on this you can see it's mirror so as you select object to mirror so this is my object okay enter so start a mirror plane so uh the mirror plane is anywhere along this this uh this line here so i can uh, click anywhere along here so this here one this is the first point then uh, this is the second point okay to get the the mirror so okay we are done with the outer shape now i want to create this okay and also take the opportunity to demonstrate the the, the split and the trim for curves okay so again um let us use this again the control point curve so i'm going to make sure that end is turned on so i click. so don't, again don't have to be too concerned about getting it right the first time okay so i just uh, briefly get the curves okay I just extend it upwards like that okay don't have to board uh don't have to make sure that you are touching here because later we will remove this okay manually okay so you might want to click on this and then turn on the points okay okay since as i mentioned uh if you are drawing something that is going to be tangentially smooth over here the first point and the second point must be horizontally aligned so you can do that by using the gumball so click on this point drag it to the end then use the arrow function to make sure that you are drawing the point that is uh, horizontally aligned okay so you are just dragging like that horizontally okay some adjustment over here Okay, I think I'm almost done. So let me just adjust this a bit. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, there are some uh, extension over here. So how do you like remove these accessors? Okay, so to do that, you can either use the split or the trim. Okay, let me demonstrate the split first. Okay. So I'm going to click the split here. So it asks you to select object to split. So this is the object that I want to split. Okay, press enter. And cutting object. It asks you for cutting object. Cutting object is this curve. Okay, this curve. Okay, that I, I have uh, created. Okay, so press uh, and enter. Okay, you notice that now your curve actually been split into two half. Okay. Uh, let me repeat this again because um. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to demonstrate how do you like tone down the, the background okay because sometimes the background uh, might be a bit too overpowering uh, in terms of this uh, color intensity you might want to like tone it down by selecting it and go to the property windows the material tab and there is a transparency option drag up the transparency so that the object actually uh, is more transparent okay so you can actually see your curves better okay yeah so let me just uh, repeat the, the the split again so click on the split select object to split this object to split okay then enter cutting object is this uh this curve enter 
So now you can see your object is being split into two half, of which you can just select the, the part that you do not want and press the delete key to remove. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Besides using the split, the other command that you can use is the trim. Okay, so this is the trim. I'm going to demonstrate the trim. So I click on the trim. So now it asks me select cutting object. So this is my cutting object. Okay, this curve. Okay, enter. Then you ask you select object to trim. Okay. The region that you are selecting will be the region to be removed. So if I click here, this portion will be removed, which is not what I want. So I press Ctrl Z. This is the region that I want to move. So I click on this. Okay. Yeah. So I think I can proceed to like mirror this to the other side. Okay. So let's say click on this. Let's demonstrate the mirror again. So snap. One point, second point, okay? Yeah, I think I'm almost done already. Okay, <laughs> just one more thing, okay? Just to reinforce the, the all, offset com command, offset curve command. As you can see, we have uh, like a boundary uh, parting, sort of parting line over here. And we can actually use the offset command to create this stuff here. Okay, so the offset is uh, I already demonstrated before, but I just want to show you one more time. It's actually this the offset curve, okay? So, um, so you got to ascertain like how much you want to offset here. So I think my offset distance uh will be about 0.7, okay? 0.7 enter. So it asks you to select curve to offset. So in this case, I want to offset the entirety. So I think uh what I can do is uh let me just join these two first together. So I click join this and this okay so i got this okay so let me just do the offset again okay click the offset so make sure you set the distance okay and then click on this curve then you ask you which which side you want to offset so you want to offset inward so you can click on this yeah so you can see we got this inner inner uh, curves around okay okay once you are done maybe we don't need this anymore we can hide it okay and hide the accessors. So this I don't need anymore. Okay, hide. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm done with this uh video demo. Hope that be useful for you. Bye.